Hi. <laughs> okay. Th I'm okay. This video is gonna be mishmashy. Uh, I am trying to improve my editing skills, but it's not being. I'm not very good at it yet. I don't know where to look. Um, so I'm gonna mishmash this video. I just wanted to give y'all some kind of introduction that way. He do, he do, little kitty on me. Um, that way it doesn't just start off all abrupt like, huh? Look at, look at the little pussy cat. I'm sorry, guys. Um, anywho, I'm going to start off with Little Dude's Field Day because that's how our weekend started. I took the day off and did Field Day with Little Dude. And then we ended up at the Dollar Tree. And then um, Daddy picked him up. And then the rest of the video starts. Okay. You guys, look at Dollar Tree. Look at Dollar Tree. What'd you get, baby? Oh, hold on, Sadie Pie. I'm showing them this awesome little stuff in here. Oh, okay. He got that out of the little machines. See, guys, I could have easily come and picked these little things up here when I made my water hose wreath. I knew they had cute stuff. Look at these guys. There's a little guitar turned backwards. Y'all remember that lady metal form I had in my backyard? And I said I wanted to do a skirt of flowers or like a bodice of flowers. Look at these. It would take a lot of them though. I still don't have a real idea, but look at the selection. These are so pretty. So pretty. I like these. I like the color on them. We took the day off. Well, I took the day off for little dude's field day. And of course we got a, oops, put it back, babe. It's not even on the ground. Still put it back where it came, fell off of. Oh goodness, so rude. Anywho, dun, dun, dun. Should I look? Orphan Mother. Oh, the titles, guys. The titles. I'm so 
the devil's diary. <laughs> what, weirdo? What is this? Simply glamorous. Hey. Billy Graham. There's magazines. I really, really, really don't need to be looking in here. But y'all know I am. I was tempted to get this because it's like pages of tutorials for makeup. But that's what YouTube is for. And you can pause on YouTube and just listen and watch as opposed to stop and read. I mean, if you're trying to put your face together, you want to go as fast as possible. But that's nice as a coffee table book or something sitting on your vanity if you're bougie. Candles, candles. Any different things? Ooh, those are neat. Ooh. <laughs> I don't see anything new. Oh. <laughs> Pardon my kids' soundtrack. These would be cute salt and pepper shakers. I don't see anything too new. Not anything ooh, you know. Oh, how cute. So cute. I like these. Little balloon animal doohickeys. I'm gonna brush your hair with it. It'll hurt. The whole store smells like bleach. No, don't do that. That will scrape your scalp. The whole store smells of bleach. They're doing maintenance on the bathroom. And I'm getting a little nauseous. So I'm going to head on out. There's nothing new going on in the store anyway. Um, and I'll see y'all in a little bit. Well, guys, it is a stormy, stormy. Ooh, just saw lightning. Saturday. Um... I'm solo, and look how my walkway floods, guys, because we're here, my neighbors, so their water runs down, woo, onto me, but uh, this is what our Saturday looks like here. That right there, oh, that didn't help, is why I had have to move any plants I have on this little table I have to move because the downpour from my roof kills them I hope my little plants out there fare okay look at this guys look at this I need to have somebody out here to remedy this flooding and a lot of the houses around here this happens at because of the way the houses are stacked but hopefully my little plants out here survive Anywho, it's going to be one of them kind of Saturdays. Little dude is with his dad. I am making a quick lunch of um, spiced little meatballs. I'm going to do the lazy taters, and I'm going to do some green beans with onions back there. I bought my peppermint plant in. Um, because it doesn't fare well in the rain. It's been through two rainstorms in the last few weeks and the poor little thing just gets beat up. So I bought her in trying to keep the kitty away from, from it. But I did buy kitty his very own little catnip. He's already enjoyed a leaf or two. I bought it for him yesterday and I got a little pot that I want to repot it in. Uh, at the Dollar Tree. So I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Goodness gracious, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and uh, it's pitch black. It's like 8 p.m. out here. But um, there's some haul stuff. There we go. <laughs> there's some haul stuff I want to show you guys. And then I have some stuff scattered on the bed that I picked up at um thrift store. Here in the neighborhood yesterday, there's a cute story behind that. And hopefully I can remember to tell that little story to y'all. But I'll see you guys in just a little bit with a haul. Hola, guys. 
It's been a while since I made a video in this room. Uh, this was my bedroom, but um, my mom stays with me during the week, as most of you guys know. And her little knees are not cooperating with her going up and down stairs. So this has been her uh, bedroom for quite a while now. So, And I'm kind of camping out in big dude's room. So that's why you guys have been seeing me up there. But I have been stashing some things in here this weekend uh, I pulled them out of where I had them uh, to show you guys what I've been up to it is Sunday and um, I've been up since three o'clock in the morning I, I I fell asleep yesterday we had that horrible rainstorm that I put in here I fell asleep before 7 p.m. and I didn't wake up until two o'clock in the morning and then I couldn't go back to sleep uh, so I watched TV and straightened up some and did some laundry I bought all this stuff down here because the light's a little better in here. And uh, most of the stuff that I'm going to show you guys has a place either down here or outside. So I figured better that than going up and down the stairs. But anywho, um, if y'all hear children's voices, it's the neighbors outside playing. Uh, little dude is with his dad. So I thought I would get in this little hall. It's a lot of stuff from... The last time that I've seen you guys and I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I picked up at the little thrift store here in my neighborhood and I told you guys there was a story behind that on this was a few weeks ago they post pictures of their of their uh, newest donations and they posted a picture of a black mirror that I fell in love with because it's black and it's a mirror and it was for four dollars and they posted it up and I made a little comment you're tempting me to leave work early to go grab it um, and back and forth, the administrators of the, um, thrift store, we were back and forth about this mirror for weeks, joking around, is still here, nobody will tell the boss, um, we'll give you a work excuse, I had to thrift, you know, that kind of thing, it was just really cute, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, so I finally went this Friday, because I took the day off to have, um, to be able to hang out with little dude at his field day, and, uh, Killing time in the morning before his field day time started, I went ahead and made it into the thrift store and I was able to grab it. Y'all are going to see y'all set up. See how y'all are set up on my candles as usual? I was able to grab it and it was four bucks and it looked way smaller on the, it looked way smaller on the website, of course. And then when I walked in, I was like, it's bigger and it's still awesome. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then later on that day, they posted on their Facebook page, the person, the administrator posts, as I was walking through the store, I noticed something was amiss. And they took a picture of the blank area where I took the mirror off. I'm so glad you were able to get it. Thank you for supporting our community. And I was just like, oh, that is so stinking cute. The whole banter, the whole thing, I thought that was really cute. But I think it's small town living. I don't think Goodwill or Salvation Army or Thrift Town would do that one-on-one -on -one with their customers. But you got to love a small town. We're in the middle of, we're, we're just a little bit outside of Big D. So, but it is still kind of small townish, the vibe here where I live. But um, anywho, so I got the mirror. And then I found this, Families Everything, it's wood, and that was three bucks. A little more than I would pay, let's say, at Goodwill for something like this, but still all the money from this thrift store goes right back into the community to help with bills and rent and medications and all kinds of stuff for those of us here in the town. So grab that, and it's going to go in my gallery where all of my black frame pictures are in the hallway. I think you guys saw the reflection of these in my mirror. I got these. I love the old school vibe. I honestly don't know what these were used for originally, but I know this has been around for a long time because my grandma and my great grandma had them. Um, I'm going to use them for grease. I don't know if that's what they're used for. You guys tell me. Um, I currently have grease in an old mason jar. I have like bacon grease uh, that I refry beans in. And then I have grease that I fry stuff in. And um that's what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to use this bigger one, $3. I'm going to use for the grease that I like fried pork chops and chicken and that kind of stuff in. I hope it keeps. It's sealed pretty tight. Uh, this one was 3 bucks. I mean, if you guys know what they were used for, please let me know. Were they just canisters? I'm not sure. This small one is going to be for my bacon grease. Uh, and that one was $2. 
So grab those. And I found this pretty, they are so good for like coffee table books. This is called Botanica and every picture in it is of some, that looks like a spider. Every picture in it is of some kind of flower or foliage. Foliage, foliage, but it's the way they um, photographed them. They look a little x-rayish kind of, but I just thought it was nice. And it was only, I don't know if you can see it, but it was only a dollar. So grab that. And that, I picked up a three, it's three Star Wars um, puzzles that came wrapped together. Uh, and that was $2. And I think each box is 200 pieces. So it was three puzzle boxes wrapped into one for two dollars of star wars and you put the three together and it's this panoramic uh star wars thing view photo and i grabbed that for my friend because they are star wars freaks so i grabbed that for them i also went to the goodwill and i'm going back to the goodwill again today so i was kind of hesitant to show you guys the things i picked up at goodwill because i only picked up two things that day i really went just for some retail therapy uh my anxiety has been really, really, really high, and that's a whole different story that I really want to share with you guys, um, just because I think maybe some of you guys might benefit from hearing it or might relate or might need to hear it just to know you're not alone. You know, I've been really struggling with my anxiety lately, and that day I just went in there to zone out. Um... So I only picked up two things. I'm going to Goodwill, not because I want to necessarily, but because I'm picking up my mom here in a few hours. So um, it's five minutes away from her house. So I'm going in there in a nice, calm mindset. So I think I'll be very, very selective and I won't just buy a bunch of stuff, which I did. I bought just to buy at Thrift Town. I'm going to show you some stuff I picked up at Thrift Town. And honestly, I bought just to buy because I was in that anxious zone and I've caught myself buying just to buy which is not what I want to go back to. Um, but it is associated with anxiety and it's just, ugh, it's a whole nother video. But I say all that to say, I picked up two things at Goodwill and uh, one of them honestly was a buy just to buy, but not this. It's a metallic butro fly. I know the word is butterfly, but I've said butro fly for years. I don't know why, but it's beautiful. This is going in my bathroom because it has, my bathroom is a lilac and silver, and I already know where I'm gonna put it. It's just gorgeous. One of my favorite things in the world is butterfly, and I love this silver, and I love this silver frame, and I just thought it was so pretty. And it was $3.99, y'all know I'm cheap, so I must have loved it to pay four bucks for it, but I just thought it was gorgeous. So I got that. And then the thing that I bought just to buy was right by the register. Um, it was this little complete, four piece tote set um do i need it no but it was there and i'm telling you guys i was just in a really weird mind space and that was 3.99 i mean it's complete and it's new but i don't need it i just bought it to buy it now let me show you guys what i picked up at thrift town now some of the things that i picked up at thrift town i really liked and i went ahead and bought but let me show you what i bought just to buy now i know they're gonna come in handy i bought them because they will come in handy but I didn't need them. But all in all, at the end of the day, they're still a good price. These are um, steel brackets and you stack them and it says makes two by fours into instant racks, tables, and benches. And that's what they look like. You kind of, you kind of catty corner your two by fours and it creates a base and then you can set a top of plywood on top or whatever, just as a topper. And they were $3.99 and I bought four of them, all that they had, because I thought they'll come in handy for the yard sale that we want to have. I have plenty of plywood in the back, but no tables. So I'm going to catty corner two by fours. My neighbor just gave me a whole bunch of two by fours they took out of their uh, garage not too long ago. And I just wanted them because I knew I was going to need feet for tables. So now, ha ha, so it's kind of a surprise need. Uh, so grab that. But those were definitely buy just to buy. But they are going to come in handy, so I'm okay with that. I found, finally, some really pretty teacups. Um, and I haven't 
bought any in a while because I didn't I hadn't found any that I really really liked uh, I do collect teacups and saucers and I found a few I don't know who donated a whole bunch of their teaware but there was a bunch of really cute things and I hope I didn't bang these up because they kind of been sitting around for a while um, but apparently somebody had a bunch of floral ones because I found this one but some are cheaper than others each piece this was 99 no this was 79 cents and the cup was 99 cents and I haven't had any that I really like in a while this one was a dollar 49 not sure why and um, this was also dollar 49 but I thought it was really pretty silver lining and this is another rose pattern this was 99 cents and this was 99 cents just a little simple rose pattern I thought those were pretty so grab those and that's everything oh no hold on that's everything I thought that was everything I had picked up at thrift town okay I remember what this is now backstory behind this I have an affinity for kangaroos because little dude was born premature and we had to do kangaroo care which is skin to skin contact and we did that for many months while he was in the NICU so uh kangaroos became very very dear to me and I used to call him my little kangaroo for many years so now whenever I see a cute kangaroo I want it and here I saw the mama and the baby and this was a dollar 49 and it's a bell just thought it was adorable I couldn't pass up a little kangaroo then the only other thing I found apparently were t-shirts it's been a while I got little dudes and t-shirts these are really big why did I buy them so big probably because they were only 99 cents and there's a shark on it he loves sharks he was with me that day and he liked the shark shirt this was $1.99. Oh, he loves pizza. Keep calm and order pizza. And now that I'm remembering, these are going to be sleepy shirts because they're really, really long. They will reach him almost to his knees. So that's what that's for. Um, the only other thing I have to show this go around is my Dollar Tree stuff. And I'm still buying plants for outside. I'll show you guys those when I go back out there. Then I have two planters that needed liners. I went ahead and got some plants for them, but I needed liners to hold the soil. So I got two of these. If I'm talking fast, it's because it's acting funny again. My camera, I have uh, all kinds of footage that I want to splice together in this video, and it can only take so much video. So I got these four S-hooks. Now, I know I needed them for something at one point a few weeks ago when I was out in the yard, and I know it'll come back to me, and I didn't want it to come back to me, and I didn't have them. So I went ahead and got four, and I think I'm trying to hang those metal scrolly things that I find uh, as opposed to nailing them to the fence because they're really heavy. I'm thinking that's what I want to do. I'm thinking that's what I needed these for. It'll come back to me once I get out there. But I picked up four of the S-hooks. I got little dude two of his little sour cream and onion snacky things. And they've been in here for a few days. I'm surprised he didn't dig them out. His gumball machine is empty. So I picked up a variety of gumballs for his gumball machine in his room. And then I tried to resist and I couldn't. I picked up Black Rabbit Hall for um, for lack of space, you guys. Like I always say, if you want to know what they're about, I will tell you guys in a different video or in the comments because I don't know what my phone's trying to do. The orphan mother, uh, her son is murdered in a protest. I know that. Oh, excuse me. I don't know what that rain blew in, but it blew in something. And then coming home. I love story. And I got this little pot for Ozzy's catnip. I'm going to plant it in here so it'll grow some so he can have plenty of catnip. He's been noshing on it on and off. And then I found more sleepy shirts for a little dude. Big long t-shirts for a buck at the Dollar Tree. So that's everything there. I think that's everything in these bags. Oh, wait a minute. What's in here? Oh, gosh. Why is this so heavy? Oh, rocks. And I did forget to show you something I picked up at the thrift store here in the neighborhood. I got these rocks. Do y'all remember the little, um, sorry, the little, <laughs> there's them in my nose, uh, wagon, the little blue wagon I thrifted a little while ago and I said I wanted to put succulents in it. Well, I'm going to try my hand at real plants. I bought this real cute fuzzy moss that I'm going to plant in there and I'm going to add some of these. And I forgot to show you these guys. I didn't realize how small the wagon was. 
So I bought all three of these little guys at my local thrift store. They were all $1.50 each. They're stinking adorable. And for some reason, I pictured the wagon way bigger than it was. So there may be only room for one of these guys in the wagon. And I'll find another home for the rest of these. Uh, but I got those. And I'm going to make a little planting with the moss in there. And I did forget to show you guys one more thing. I picked this up at Thrift Town as well. Thrift Town is where I picked up those brackets and did I tell you all Thrift Town? Yeah, Thrift Town and the teacups. But a little dude also found this, the Lego Ideas book, and it definitely is what it says it is. A book that tells you what to build with all of your random Lego pieces. And he has a giant bin of Lego pieces. And when I say giant bin, I mean a giant bin of Lego pieces. And he's always building and creating his own little things. He thought this was a really neat find. So I got that for him at $2.99. So that's everything. I'm going to head on out and enjoy the sunshine after that horrible rain. Uh, put this up. Make sure Nana's room is back uh, to normal. So till my next go around, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all are having an awesome, awesome weekend. If any of you watching are watching to ease your nerves because I like to watch YouTube to calm down. Just know you're not alone in your anxiety. You're not alone in any depression you might be feeling. Just know you're not alone. And I will come back and talk to you guys about what I'm going through if you all want to know it's just in my heart to put it out there because I know I'm not alone so maybe you guys need to know y'all aren't alone does that make sense but anywho not to be a Debbie Downer but just putting that out there that y'all may come across a video here soon that ain't about stuff but um till my next go around I love y'all bunches and I hope y'all have an awesome 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 Sunday bye